killing all these guardians because it looked like Sir has decided to show up his face in the tower. Will Sir have something good? Will her, her Sir have something bad? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Guys, don't forget to turn on your notification, my fellas. Laser Nation, we need to come in strong, man. We got to turn on those notifications so you guys can know when videos go live. We got a lot of really good content. Got a really good unboxing that's going on. I'm going to have tomorrow, so you guys are definitely not going to want to miss it. Let's see what Sir has in store. Don't forget, guys, we are giving away beta codes for Destiny 2. So if you don't have a beta code, drop a comment on this video. Say, Laser, I need a beta code. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. I will be launching the first beta code on Twitter. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Twitter. The link's down below. Make sure you guys go to Twitter if you haven't been already. So what does Zer have for us this time? Legacy Ingram, fellas. First Legacy Ingram. Remember, this Legacy Ingram is for old stuff. If you guys don't have the old stuff, get that Legacy Ingram. If you do, well, skip it. Paragon Greats. We got Intellect 73, Strength 78. Not a bad roll, actually. 350. Very fun. You know, if you, if you were a Titan and you've never used the Paragon Greats, Definitely try it out. I mean, Destiny 1 is about almost, we're almost towards the end. You guys definitely should try these out. It's really fun and crucible. And, you know, it's, it's just a really fun, man. Airborne Shoulder Charge deals bonus damage. It's a really fun, uh, you know, boots to have if you're a Titan. Next up, we have the Celestial Nighthawk. Now, the Celestial Nighthawk is the type of helmet that you should have because it, it's very helpful. I mean, not so much now, but before it was so, it, I mean, it, it's still helpful in the sense, but... You know, before it was just like you when you were doing the omnigo farming, when you were doing all this sort of stuff. Really good, helpful helmet, especially when there's solar burn on night balls. Oh my goodness, this thing wrecks. Next up, we have the Heart of Praxi Fire Intellect 81, Discipline 81. Another really good, interesting role. Heart of Praxi Fire. What it's cool is when Radiance is active, it increases the agility and increases the ability cooldown. Not like your, you know, like go to go. You know, it's not something like your go to go. You know, chess piece for the warlock. I mean, there's so many other ones you could possibly use. But hey, it does look really, really cool. It gives you that nice looking robes. If you don't have it in your collectionist, then you know you should pick it up. If you guys don't have, you know, you have all three classes. And you're like, which one should I pick? I don't have enough coins. I would say, ah, uh, you know, with this one, if you do a lot of PVE. Then pick up the Celestial Nighthawk. If you do a lot of PvP, pick up the uh, Paragon Greaves. And if you just want to go ahead and pick up the Heart of Practice Fire because you just don't have it, then go ahead. Then we have the Monte Carlo. Now, the Monte Carlo is a weapon that gets slept on a lot. To me, personally, I think it's one of the best auto rifles currently in the game right now. If you've never given this weapon a chance, if you've never even tried this weapon, I will highly recommend you guys to try this out. The only tricky part about this one is controlling the recoil pattern. But once you get the recoil pattern down, I mean, this thing is a monster. It's This, this thing's like kind of like a, a Doctrine of Passing, but still a really, really good Monte Carlo to pick up. Highly recommend this, guys. If you guys don't like none of this and don't have a Monte Carlo, haven't tried it out, definitely pick this one up. It's a really good one. Next up, if you guys are trying to get the Monte Carlo with the whole Royal Flush, you might as well just skip this guy and, you know, just pick this one up right here. You, you know, you're able to pick up the Monte Carlo with a cool looking ornament so really cool the royal flush gives it that nice crispy look then we have the red death with the steel witch now the steel witch i like it uh, um the ornament's all right uh but the red death is actually a really good weapon if you don't have it definitely go ahead and consider picking this up if you don't like none of this pick up yourself some three of coins try to get the exotic that you're actually trying to get three of coins are very effective you can just pop one every time you do a pve match or every day, time you do a strike, you can pop this and try to see if you get yourself some, now you sell some really good exotics. If you're still trying to get that tier 12, boys, definitely go ahead and pick up yourself some glass needles to re-roll your exotic gear. And that, my friends, wraps up what Sir has available for us. Don't forget to turn on your notification, guys, so you guys can stay up to date to when we go live. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitter if you're trying to get a beta code for Destiny 2. We will be launching a free beta code for you guys this weekend, so make sure you guys are tuning in. Don't forget, for all things Destiny, Destiny 2, and all the world of Destiny, make sure you guys keep it locked to this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next uh, video. Alright, my fellas, that about pretty much 